guys, this is Karen. And this is Nick. And we're Nerd Parade. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at... Play Arts Kai Star Wars... <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get this plastic off here and show you what we're dealing with. Now the first thing that jumps out at me are his awesome accessories. Pick up this one here. It's like a visualized force effect. It's red and silver paint on, on like a crystal plastic here, and it's just super cool. I really like this effect. I'm looking forward to putting it on him to see what it uh, looks like on his person. Another one, I mean, should have picked this one up first. This one's the coolest one. It's like the downward swiping effect of the lightsaber. It's got this the red and white paint and the, on the clear plastic to visualize the downward swipe. It's really super cool. The handle of the lightsaber looks really well done. I'm really liking this. I'm a fan already. Good job, player. It's Kai. All right, take a look at the figure here. The cape is very flexible, rubber material. His skirt is very flexible as well, movable. It's very detailed. The armor itself looks like a combat suit. It almost gives me a, uh, a feel of Batman. It looks like a Batman suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with the belt buckle. Yeah, it does. It, it almost looks like a, a Batman utility belt. Uh, I, I like it. It's, it looks really good. Uh, the matte also, black and the shiny black looks really nice too. Yeah, the, the paint variation or the plastic variation, it makes it look metallic, which is super, super cool. Uh, I'm a fan. I love it. Love Darth Vader. Love Play Arts Kai. Uh, home run, home run, speechless, I can never find the words, I just, I'm choking up, <clears throat> anyway, now, you'll notice like on the side of his belt, it looks like there's some electronic controls on the details, that they might control his suit, I think that's a cool effect, a cool touch, he's got his little like hip, uh, hip armor here on his, his skirt, it's a variant of the, uh, the canon Darth Vader look. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be differences for sure, and if that upsets people, I'm sorry, but I I like that. I think I don't think it's better. I don't think it's worse. I think it's a very cool idea, the variant take on the Play Arts Kai line, just reimagining of your classic superheroes, classic villains, classic characters like such as Darth Vader. Uh, a big difference that you'll see is his his cape. It's not surrounding his body like it is in the movie. It's in the movie, it kind of comes up here and drapes down unless he, he uh, wraps it around his back himself. I'm going to flip him over here, and you'll see that the cape is, is very much limited. It's a cape instead of a cloak, really. It comes in two pieces. You can move it to pose, however you'd like to have the flowing cape effect look. His shoulder pads, very cool looking. I like them. They almost remind me of, uh, like, maybe Boba Fett's or maybe a Stormtrooper or something. It's It's... It's kind of like a hybrid combat space armor instead of his uh, traditional armor. It's very cool, very neat idea. The abs are, of course, super defined because you can't be Darth Vader without being super ripped. <laughs> <laughs> his control box on his chest looks good. It's iconic. Uh, his helmet, slightly variant. It's, uh, it's got some lines on the top of the head, but you can't really change too much. I mean, this is Darth Vader. His helmet is what makes him Darth Vader. All in all, though, love it. I love it. I think Play Arts Kai did a fantastic job. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. I know we're late to the party. This guy came out about a month ago, and we're definitely not the first people to take a look at him. But he's so cool that I couldn't help but make a video. So let's put on some of his accessories here. Get you a, a look of his Force Hand effect and his Force Lightsaber, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here he is with some of... Uh, with my two favorite accessories from the kit, with the downward swiping lightsaber. He's making a, a really cool pose here. Fix his little skirt. He truly looks menacing. Yeah, they did a really good job with the lightsaber. Looks like it's in action. Like he's swiping down or getting ready to lop off some heads of rebel scum. Anybody that poses that. the Galactic Empire. Sure, why not? No one stands in the way of the Dark Lord of the Sith. What about this awesome force ball that he's about ready to throw at somebody's face? Eat it, rebel scum. 
pew, pew. Okay, that's enough of this. Like that. <laughs> okay, guys, let's take a quick look at the other lightsaber here. Uh, it's not as cool as the other one, and I haven't really been paying much attention to it, I'm sorry. But all in all, it's still a, uh, a neat effect for just a pose. It doesn't seem like the uh, blade or the beam itself detaches from the lightsaber, so you can't really do handle only. The handle is very detailed, which is nice. I like the, uh, the red paint. It's, it's darker at the base and then slowly lightens to, to a white to give it more of a, a glowing effect, but mm -hmm. it's not done on the clear plastic. So it doesn't look as, uh, as cool, really, as, the, the, as this one. I mean, it's almost impossible to look that cool. He's got his other hand accessories, uh, almost the force chokey open grip hand, which is nice, but I mean, these, they pale in comparison, really, to these others, too. It's, uh, you see these two accessories, and you pretty much know how you're going to pose your Darth Vader, in my opinion. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you like Darth Vader as much as I do. I think it's another home run by Player It's Kai. I'm really liking the variant line, and I'm really liking the Star Wars line. Don't forget to check out our other videos, and please, if you like the video, go ahead and click a thumbs up for us. And don't Thank forget you. to subscribe. Bye-bye.